Okay, here we are. Okay, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone's having a good, uh, a good Friday afternoon. We're gonna do a nice, fun uh, Red Dead Online stream today. Uh. Okay. Okay, just got a notification. Okay, it's making sure everything's right with the sound and everything. Um, okay, everything's good. We're live. I um, hope everyone's having a good Friday. Also, for people wondering when the Sleeping Dogs video is going to be up, the second that the stream ends, so like two hours from now, the moment that the stream ends, I will upload the Sleeping Dogs video like instantly right after the sleep, uh, stream is um, uh, finished. Um, okay. Okay. Happy Friday, Pro. Hope you're having a good day. I, I, I am. Thank you, Nobleman. Thank you, Pat Link, for the super chat. Thanks, man. Used to watch your GT Online videos, first time ever dropping by the, the stream. Well, I hope that you enjoy this too, um, and check out my uh, other content. Like, I do playthroughs of games and do, uh, and do uh, lore videos also. Um, thank you, David, for, the, um, uh, for sponsoring my channel again. Thanks, man. have any last week yeah I heard about that it hasn't snowed really a lot where I'm at but it has been very um, uh, cold today's 27 uh, which that's 27 isn't really cold for me well you know some people probably disagree Fahrenheit by the way but um uh, it's um uh, there have been um, uh, there have been some days where it gets to minus twenty. Yeah, I'm getting the chill just to hear that. Yeah, but that's minus twenty Fahrenheit, which is um, uh, that's uh, minus twenty Fahrenheit. I think is uh, minus twenty Celsius. I think is minus five Celsius, minus Still. five Fahrenheit. But um. Yeah. Like, even when we had snow, like the max time, like the coldest one, the, the coldest temperature was like minus two. It melted. Uh, like I was awake during the night when it happened because it doesn't happen a lot where I live. Because I live in the desert. Um, but, but so it melted. Everything just melted in like two hours because it was raining on the so it makes sure it was raining snow. So like it was a really oh. thick layer of snow, and uh, then it was raining. So. The snow will probably disappear there pretty quickly, but it's uh, here. I was the uh, the snow. Um, there was a big snowstorm like a month ago, and even though it rarely snowed since then, that snow is still big here from a month ago because it just the uh, the cold has kept it from uh, going away. And thank you, Pat uh, Pat Link. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the Sniper Elite video. No problem. And I'm going to do a series on Sniper Elite this year before Sniper Elite um, uh, 5 comes out. I'll do all the games. I think, I, I just, I think I'll skip the first one because I don't think I have that one unless I find it somewhere. But I'll do V2, 3, and 4. And um, I'll dress up as Carl, the main character also. It's just going to be a little hard to make Carl's outfit yeah, for way, Sniper Elite. Um, yeah, I was going to say that uh, the game so far looks very good. Because it's the the game's gonna be in France. This is gonna be like the the largest maps ever in like a sniper elite game. The most open maps, I should say. Um, uh, so you're gonna be able to pull off like the longest shots ever. Because like Fran a lot of fr the French countryside is like you know farms and like fields. Um, uh, there's probably gonna be some island maps, maybe a few town maps. I think there will be something with the FFI as well. The target escaped? Oh, well, whatever. Don't worry about it, guys. Um, 
Well, thank you for the super chat, um, uh, Pat. I do appreciate it. Um, uh, will you ever play True Crime Streets of LA in New York City soon? Um, maybe in the future. Uh, I just hear myself repeating a little bit from your mic, Jonathan. Um, but it's, uh, I, um, uh, people told me that if I like sleeping dogs, I'll really like the true crime games. Um, uh, okay. Thank you, DHC. You got 100% on Liberty City Stories. Congratulations, man. I was very proud of myself when I got the 100% on Liberty City Stories. I played that game so much as a kid, but I never got 100% um, until a few months before. We did a really nice charity stream on that Liberty City Stories completion also. Um, uh, it's pretty difficult to get 100% completion, especially in, Liberty Street, especially in Liberty City Stories. Yep. I think San Andreas is probably the... Is San Andreas the hardest one to 100%? I think San Andreas is the hardest one to 100% because San Andreas has, like, so many different collectibles where the other GTA games have, like, one. There's, like, the oysters, the pictures, the, uh, the gang tags, and then the horseshoes. So there's just so many collectibles in San Andreas. Um, hi, Pro. How are, how are you doing today? Are you playing with viewers? Yeah, I am specialist. Anyone can join me. Did I graduate or just drop that, um, out in college? No, I graduated, but, um, uh, you know, what I'll say about that is that, you know, don't think that college is necessary to be, to be success. Because when I was, um, uh, when I was growing up, especially, like, when I was in high school, the teachers made it seem like if you didn't go to college, you were gonna be a failure. That's the way the teachers made it seem. They didn't say that directly, but they heavily implied that. And don't believe that. Just because you don't go to college doesn't mean that you can't be successful. Um... There's a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, misinformation spread around that um, you have to go to college to be successful. It's just not true. Yeah, but I can't deny this will help. I mean, it, 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 having some edu more education always helps, but, you know, it depends for what. If you're, you know, if you want to be like a plumber, for instance, a plumber makes a decent amount of money. You know, you could go to a trade school, you could learn to become a plumber, and get a good job with a plumbing company, eventually save enough money, start your own plumbing company, and then make some pretty good money. So there's like, you know, there's there's always like opportunities and stuff that like you can make a decent yeah, amount. I'm not with, saying that there isn't. Yeah. I'm not saying that there isn't. I, I completely, I, 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 I hundred I'm hundred percent agreeing with you. Um, but again, education always helps. It does. Um, but I just don't want people to think that it's absolutely necessary. Um, I think that high school is necessary. That I do think is absolutely necessary. But like college, I don't think is necessary. Um, can I get a posse invite? Oh, sure, Tyler. Thank you for the super chat. I'm, I'm just gonna have to invite you right after the uh, the bounty because I can't do it during the bounty. Um, and thank you, Mario. Been playing a lot of Vice City stories a lot recently. My God, unfriendly competition took me forever to beat. Uh, tune on. Uh, uh, tune in bug out only took me two attempts. Yeah, I think that uh, 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 tune on is the worst one. Check out my video, Mario. Go on my go on my Vice City Stories playlist if you haven't already, and check out my video top five worst missions in Vice City Stories. I'm trying to remember which one is unfriendly competition again. I'm trying to remember because I don't remember all the mission names. Uh, let me Google that really quickly. Unfriendly competition, GTA Vice City Stories. Let me see what mission that is. Uh Oh, that one. Yeah, I actually have that mission on my list. Um uh I remember that mission. That's the mission where the Mendez brothers send you over to kill that drug dealer and then like you get ambushed at the pool and then the drug dealer tries to run away and throws grenades at you on his ATV. I, yeah, I remember that mission sucks. Um uh And thank you gamer. Hello, Pro in chat. Saving up um, for a PS5 at the moment. Hopefully someday I can join you on Red Dead streams. I'm enjoying Sleeping Dogs as well. Thank you, gamer. Sleeping Dogs is gonna get really crazy. I'm letting everybody know. For people that haven't don't know how the game, you know, is gonna go on later, it's gonna get really crazy in the story. There's some really crazy, brutal things gonna happen. Um, GTA 4 is the hardest game to complete 100%. I don't know. Is it really? Um, I'm trying to remember. I know GTA 5 actually was not that bad to complete 100%. Um, I have 100% on that one. But, um, uh, GTA 4, I remember I got 100% on it, but I remember you had to, you, you had to have, I remember you had to get the pigeons, the pigeons you had to get, you had to steal all of the Brucey cars, you had to steal all of Steve's cars, you had to, um, take your, um, unlock the special ability for all your friends, you had to complete, like, one activity with each of the friends, 
Um, you have to complete the vigilante missions, the, um, uh, what else is there? The hitman missions, the, um, damn, I'm trying to remember anything else I'm missing. I'm sure there's more stuff. Um, happy Friday, professional. I studied, uh, about DNA and psychology today. Do you believe all psychopaths are bad people regarding your video on Dimitri? No. Um, uh, you know, n no, not all psychopaths are bad people is, um, uh, the thing is, though, is psychopaths are more prone to being bad people than other people, simply because they have no conscience. So if somebody has no conscience, then they are more prone to doing bad things. But uh, the thing about it is that a lot of psychopaths are born that way. You know, I'm not a complete expert on this, but, you know, you, you probably know a little bit more about that. It's just when they're born, their brains are developed a certain way. And because of that, they, um, uh, they don't feel they don't have a conscience. And, you know, they, they aren't really able to love anyone. And so um, that happens. So somebody can be, you know, born that way and they could live a productive life, never do anything bad or, um, uh, you know, try to be a good person or at least what they understand society to be a good person. Um, I just played God of War, amazing game. Well, thank you. Um, he, I never got the ch I never played that one though. I know what God of War is, but um, I actually surprisingly never played that one. But um, uh, you will know this. Um, uh, this might um, uh, this might interest you for your like school assignments, buddy, vampire. But you might want to look it up that like a lot of American CEOs, like the people at the top of the companies, have psychopathic traits. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean they're psychopaths, but they have psychopathic traits. And so, like, you can see, like, how the, some of these CEOs are, like, very ruthless and, like, very, you know, greedy. It's probably how they got to becoming a CEO in the first place. Have I ever watched Cobra um, Kai? Um, no, I don't know what that is, though, DHC, but thank you for the um, uh, super chat. Hey, Carlos. Talking about psychopaths and brutal people, I recently saw your video about the cartel recruiting people through GTA Online. And that sounds crazy. Yeah. The thing about that is that it's... The, the media is going to be stupid because the moment the media picks up that story, like the mainstream media, they're going to say that, um, guys, um, wait a few minutes before I deliver the target to get a little more money. Let's deliver the target in like five minutes. Um, so, uh... The, uh, the media is going to pick up that story, and they're, eventually they're going to say that, oh, you know, the, the cartel uses GT Online to recruit people, and so therefore it's like, it's, it's bad. And GT Online is a bad game and stuff like that. But the thing is, though, the reason the cartel, you know, would, would use GT Online to recruit people, it has nothing to do with the game being violent. It has nothing to do with the game being about crime. It has nothing to do with that. It's just the fact that there's so many people that play it, and because Rockstar support is just so absolutely terrible, like, they... they they don't ban anyone, they don't really control um, uh, what people can and can't do on GT Online. There's cheaters all over the place. Because of that, if a cartel member goes in a game like GT Online, they're less likely to get tracked. They're not going to go on the phones because they're, they're likely to get tapped. They're not going to go on social media because the government monitors social media. So if they see anybody like you know trying to recruit people to the cartel, they're going to shut them down immediately and find them. Um, uh, and the, the, that story, the cartel members were meeting people on GT Online and then talking to them on Snapchat. I don't use Snapchat, so I don't know, but like people told me in my comment section that the reason they would use Snapchat is because after like 24 hours or something like that, the messages are deleted on Snapchat. So that's, uh, that's probably why they, uh, they would use that form of social media because they're less likely to be tracked. So pretty much backs up my argument on that. So it's not the game. It's just the fact that they're less likely to be tracked. That's why they did it. And even when they do something like that, it's so rare. The, the idea that like the cartel is recruiting people on GTA Online is so rare, so, so rare. That happens, you know, it's very, very rare. Um, you know, and this is like, you know, they're trying to recruit somebody to drive a car for them full of drugs. That's basically what um, 
Been uh, playing Sleeping Dogs since you started that series. Awesome game, and it definitely gets hella crazy. Did that mission in the cemetery. Yup. Thank you, Bunny. For the, um, uh, thank you, Bunny, for the super chat. Money does that to people? Oh, you're talking about the CEOs that I said earlier? I mean, I don't- I don't think so. You know, um, uh... I mean, like, look at my channel, for instance. Like, you know, I- I lost a lot of views and subscribers when I started, like, changing up my content. I could have kept doing GTA Online and probably got a, a lot more viewers, but I didn't do that because I wanted to play other games. So, you know, I took a hit on my channel, and I had less views, and because of that, less money. But I'm happy with what I'm doing right now, so money isn't everything. Um, so no, I don't believe that money corrupts um, uh, people. I believe that if somebody goes crazy because they get a lot of money, I believe that that person was probably messed up from the beginning. Okay, I see it, uh, Pinu. Take care. No more Watch Dogs Legion updates anymore. Yeah, that was unfortunate. I was really hoping that I'd be able to support the game for years to come, but there's nothing there. But the thing is, though, at Wait, least... What? Yeah, they, they... Watch Dogs... The, Ubisoft said they're not going to release any more Watch Dogs Legion updates. The last one that they released the last oh, one. Come on. Yeah, and, and it's, it, it sucks because I was really hoping that Watch Dogs Legion could become a competitor to GTA because the game needs serious competition. I know Watch Dogs never... I never expected Watch Dogs to outsell GTA Online. I, I never expected that, but I was hoping for an al alternative. That's what I was hoping for. That you could, you could play Watch Dogs Legion when you get bored of GTA Online, but because there's no more updates coming out in that game, there's less of a reason to play it, unfortunately. Um, let alone, let alone the the, 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 com the competition for GT Online it was a really good game. But the thing is, though, is even though, even though it sucks that Watch Dogs Legion has cut its updates for the future, I will say though, at least Ubisoft actually came out and said that they're not going to make any more updates. At least they did that instead of trying to get people's hopes up. Um, because I'll tell you, like you know, I would still be pissed off. But I would honestly Rockstar rather just come out and say that we're not supporting Red Dead Online anymore. You know, if they if they aren't going to support it anymore. I'd still be pissed, don't get me wrong, and I, and I want the game to have updates. But if they're not going to support the game anymore, I'd honestly rather prefer them just to really say that. Because what Rockstar is doing is so annoying. They're, they're pretending to care about the game. They're pretending like the game is going to get more content when we know it's not. And so basically, they're just trying to... The, the players that are playing the game right now, they're trying to milk them for as much gold bars as possible. Pretending like the game is going to get massive support when it's not. Um, which is just uh, not true. Oh, and I gotta invite Tyler. Let me invite Tyler to the um, uh, to the uh, to the bossy here. Would I play a game for a sponsor if I love it? Uh, thank you, um, Imperialist, for the super chat. I um I I would if I like the game. Though you guys would be surprised how many sponsor emails I have gotten. I have gotten hundreds of sponsor emails, hundreds from like the last like you know two years since I set up that business you know email that I had. And I have, like, so many, like, sponsor requests. They're like, you know, do this or that or, like, advertise this product or something like that. And I've read through almost every single one of them. But the reason that you've never seen me do a sponsor on my channel is because I will only sponsor a product and talk about a product on my channel if I like it. If I don't like it, then I'm not going to talk about it. Like, I've been, I have gotten sponsorships to try to advertise Battle Royale games. And I'm not going to do that because I don't like Battle Royale games. I mean, at most, I'll probably play Warzone a little bit, but that's, like, the only thing I could actually see myself playing. Like, I, I just cannot stand Battle Royale for the most part. So it's just, um, uh, you know, I'm not going to advertise a game. I don't play myself. You know, that's, 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 that's lying to your fans. That's being dishonest. So it's, uh, I don't do that. Um, hey, Pearl, hope you're doing well. Really enjoy your Sleeping Dogs walkthrough. Hope you play Yakuza in the uh, near future. Thank you, George. I might play Yakuza one day. Um, okay, let me invite Tyler. Tyler, you're in the session, right? Okay, let me see here. Uh, invite to Posse. Tyler, there you go. I didn't forget Tyler. Okay. I have a list of new patrons for you.
Yeah, I really don't care about stuff like that, Marcus, to tell you the truth. Um, you know, just like a CEO and like, um, uh, you know, it's a CEO and another CEO just having dinner together. That's not really, you know, important to me. Um, I'll do a play for Red Dead uh, 1 one day. Did, did Tyler join the posse? Oh, he did. Okay. I see you have a new recipe. C'est délicat. Allons-y! Faites attention! The time has come, yes? The new batch is prepared, and these buyers are worth... Maybe I, I could play Grand Auto Chinatown yes. Wars one day. Um, I have done my part. What's the perfect game or your dreams um, a game? My um uh, my perfect game. I would tell you what I would make if I was making it. Um, thank you, Imperialist, for the super chat. Uh, I would make an open world game, and you know what? What city I would set it in? I would set it in Chicago. Not like Watch Dogs, but it would be in the 1920s. So be in the 1920s in Chicago, you'd have cars that you can drive around, but they'd obviously handle very differently. Some trucks that you can drive around, maybe even a train. Um, uh, but um, uh, it would be in Chicago in the 1920s, and it would be during the height of Prohibition. And it would be where you can, like, you, you can make your own, you know, mafia gang, and you can, like, buy businesses and, like, convert them into fronts for, like, smuggling alcohol. Or you can, like, you know, convert, like, old warehouses to be distilleries and um, uh, open up speakeasies, which are, like, illegal bars hidden in, like, the back rooms and stuff like that. And then eventually, like, you can go up against other, you know, gangs and try to fight over their territory. Um, and then you have to, like, deal with the corrupt police, which is the, um, uh, the Bureau of Prohibition. And you have to watch out for them raiding your businesses. Not like GTA raiding. Um, where the, the police raid your business, but like, you know, a little bit like you, you get, get police heat on you and stuff like that. I would like that. Um, and the thing is, though, they could make a game just like that. And they, you know what universe they could set it in? They could set it in Red Dead Redemption's universe. They could. So even though it doesn't have to be called Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, it doesn't have to be called Red Dead Redemption, but it could be in the same universe as Red Dead Redemption. And it could be where you play as Jack Marston, and it could be he goes to, like, the city, he goes to Chicago, because a lot of the, a lot of the, um, uh, uh, a lot of the game takes place in the Midwest, so like you know, John Marston, uh, uh, Jack Marston can make his way to um, uh, Chicago, or like uh, Chicago does exist in Red Dead Redemption One. It does. Um, Red Dead Redemption Two, Dutch mentioned it. So he could go to like Chicago, join up with like a gang, and try to smuggle alcohol or something like that. And it could be an open world game with like cars and stuff like that too. So it'd be very different than Red Dead Redemption Two, but you would have like a main character from Red Dead Redemption in it. Um, and, and, you know, how old would Jack be? Jack in, like, um, uh, in, like, you know, the 1920s, how old would Jack be? He would be in his late 20s, so he'd be still pretty young. Um. Um, I'd like to see, uh, a Civil War. There was, um, a Civil War game. There was, um, Darkest of Days. That was like an Xbox 360 game. They actually had some interesting battles in the Civil War, but it wasn't entirely a Civil War game. Like the premise of the game was that you were you would you would go back in time to certain periods in history, and you would have to save certain people that were random were going to die when they weren't going to die. And uh, even though it wasn't a high budget game, they did try. Yeah, but uh, like I, I see why there's a problem with Civil War because the guns wouldn't be as accurate. Well, no, you would be surprised. A lot of the guns during the Civil War became a lot more accurate. Like, people people think that the guns during the Civil War were like guns during the Revolutionary War. No, you had a lot more rifling at that point because muskets weren't rifled, and you also had the mini ball, which is like the first sharpened bullet ever. So, like, they, were, they started using sharpened bullet for the first time. They had revolvers. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, but, again, revol revolvers and, uh, and, and rifled, uh, uh, rifled guns. They were not introduced to most of the army, just uh, a certain amount of Well, supplies. the officers carried revolvers. That's who carried revolvers during the Civil War. And they did have lever-action rifles that were used in the Civil War, but they were yeah. rare. Um, they were maybe only given to, like, specialist soldiers, and, like, they just weren't common. Um, I think it was the Henry... Not, uh, the Henry 62, I think, was the uh, army during that time. That started being introduced to the army. It might have been. I don't know what the name of the gun would be at the time, but uh, it's uh, hey Patrick, would you consider doing a play for a prototype or the Infamous games? Hashtag Save Red Dead Online. Thank you, Bell. Uh, maybe the Infamous games. I never played Prototype. 
but I did play the infamous games. Um, I lost the bottle, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, Oh you know, yeah, definitely punch Dimitri. Um, punch Pulaski too. Um, nah, I doubt that they were talking about a new game, Marcus. Um, uh, okay, let me. I'm gonna head back to um what's this to uh moonshine oh, shack and just uh just buy some oh. mash really quick so it starts producing what is my ability cards um I use mostly damage ability cards. I use Focus Fire, Never Without One, uh, Necessity Breeds. And uh, what's the name of the, the, the hat one? That's Never Without One. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, Winning Streak. Yeah, that's one. Winning one. Streak 2. Top five things that make no sense in the story in GTA Vice City stories. I was actually thinking about doing that one, but I just never got around to it. Um, what do you think of my recent idea that character versus um, character example? Jack Marston versus Johnny Klebitz, Nico Bellic versus Wei Shen, Saints Boss versus Jimmy um, Pegarino. Well, we know that Jimmy Pegar the, the third one, Jimmy Pegarino would not last against the Saints Boss. Um, uh, the um uh Mars J Jack Marston versus Johnny Klebitz. I don't think I can really uh I don't think you can really say that one because they just live a hundred years apart from each other. Um. Uh, Nico Bellic versus Wei Shen would be a bit difficult. Wei could Wei could de Wei could probably beat Nico. The who would win Nico versus Wei? Um, I would say that um in that fight. Wei would beat Nico in hand to hand, but Nico would beat him in a gunfight, definitely. You gotta also remember that Nico is like a trained soldier. Um, so even though Wei has had some experience shooting in the police and he does get into gunfights, Nico is just such a, you know, such a good shot that I doubt that Wei would beat him in a gunfight. Um, thank you, buddy vampire, for that super chat. Hey, pro, would I play GTA Chinatown Wars? Yes, I would, Gabriel. I just don't know what I can play it on. Is there any way for me to play Chinatown Wars on PC or something? Does anybody know? Like, um, is it only on mobile? Because I, 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 I don't want to do, like, a mobile playthrough because that would kind of be weird. Um... Oh, I didn't fast travel people into the moonshine business. Um, but uh, that's whatever. Uh, let me do a bootlegging mission here really quick. God, I have for these revenue oh, a PSP emulator, God right. Thank you guys for telling me about that. I could buy the disc for country. Chinatown Wars and then play it on my PC. Yeah, I could do that. Here, wagons. People are getting antsy. That's actually the it's only reason I never played Chinatown Wars because is because it was a mobile game. Games. That was really the only reason I never played it. So, if it was on, you know, um, uh, I don't even care that it's like, you know, um, ceiling view. I don't know what that's, that's... What's that called when you see the character from the ceiling? What's that view called? I keep forgetting, but it's, uh, I, um, uh, I don't even care that the game's in that type of view. I would've still played it. Um, uh, I just never played it because it was on mobile. Top-down perspective, okay. Uh, let me, let me put on free aim also here. Uh, do I have this on free aim? Let me see here. Oh, are you watching a video, by the way, um, uh, Jonathan? Uh, no, my phone was on. Oh, okay. Oh, the, the checkpoint's already cleared? Damn, you're fast. Okay. Um, 
Let's get the other checkpoint then. What's the worst mission in GTA 4? I don't think there really is one. You know, that's why I never made a mi video top 5 worst missions in GTA 4, because all the missions in GTA 4 are really good ones. I can't really think of any bad missions in GTA 4, honestly. I don't think there really is. I'm sure there's like one or two bad missions, but there's definitely, there's definitely, GTA 4 doesn't have those missions that like you say, oh man, not this mission. Like, it doesn't have a mission like that. Like, uh, when you really think about it, it doesn't. Um, like, Vice City and GTA 3 have like those, and San Andreas have those missions that the second you start them up, you're like, oh no, not this. But it's like, uh, I, don't, I can't really think of like a mission like that in GTA 4 that, that has that kind of reaction, where people just don't like it. Um, I, I don't know, I don't think there really is such a thing as ranking GTA games best to worst, because I think all of the GTA games are great. Um, if we can do bank robberies in story mode, why can't we do them online in Red Dead? Yep, good question. You know, Rockstar would probably point to that, um, uh, that stupid, like, um, uh, story mission that you can do in the online, where you can rob the bank, but that's only for the online, for one thing. Um, thank you, JM, for the super chat. I actually have a video coming out on Troy, which is gonna be, um, uh... It's gonna be coming out in the future, but I think a lot of people are gonna enjoy it, um... Uh... And I have a lore video that's probably coming out tomorrow on, um, GTA, by the way. It's gonna be a character analysis video, and it's gonna be a really good one. Um... So we got another character analysis video coming out tomorrow for a GTA character. Um... Not gonna spoil what character it's gonna be. Troy Bradshaw in Saints Row 2, um... The only thing I'll reveal about the character that I'm gonna be analyzing for the video soon, it's either tomorrow or the next day. If it's not out tomorrow, it'll be out Sunday. Because the video's like 90% done. But the, the character analysis that's coming out, the only thing I'll hint about it, it's a GTA character, and the character is a massive scumbag. That's the one thing that I'll hint about. It. It, like, nobody likes this character. There are a lot of those. Yeah. This guy's also an antagonist, I'll say that. Easy. Do you think Winston wasn't killed? Would Way arrest him? Way is a cop and he doesn't forget that Winston is his friend. Well, Winston would end up being arrested, but you know what I think? What I think would happen is, um, uh, is, I'll tell you this, um, uh, I don't think that Winston was actually the guy who killed the undercover cop, um, uh, because they talk about how an undercover cop ended up dying, but, um, uh, the, Winston wasn't the one who killed that undercover cop, that was Mr. Tong. Mr. Tong is, like, a bit of a psycho. Um, I think that, um, uh, I think what would have happened, if Winston hadn't died, I think that, Probably he would have probably been cut a deal Where he probably would not have faced any prison time um, uh, If he gave up the rest of the Sun on Yi, that's probably what would have happened And he probably would have chosen that over, um, uh, over his mo uh, to protect his mother and his wife So I don't think that um, Venice Beach? That's- Venice Beach, isn't that- that's in Los Angeles, right? I- I- I can't go to California. Um, New York is just where my family lives, so that's why I was able to record it there, but, um... Uh, I will do another New York lore video on- on another neighborhood. I'll be visiting my family in, um, like, June? May, June? And I'll probably do another lore video on another neighborhood in, um, New York at that time.
Save Red Dead? Who says that Save Red Dead Online has failed? I don't know who says that. But I'll tell you something. Something Save Red Dead Online has accomplished something. Even if it, even if it has, even if it, even if it doesn't get us another, another Red Dead Online update, it has accomplished something. And do you know what that is? It shows how much of a crappy and dishonest company Rockstar is. That's what it's accomplished. Because I've, I've told people several times, you know, don't harass the developers because that just makes the thing, the hashtag look bad. But this has brought a lot of attention on Rockstar, the company, and the bosses. Bad attention and bad press. The gaming media has covered this. Everyone, IGN, GameSpot, um, uh, even the people that interviewed Rockstar in the past, VG247, even they have called out Rockstar and they've interviewed Rockstar rather than online in the past. So this has brought negative attention onto Rockstar, and you could see that as at the same time that Save Reddit Online was trending, the Take Two Interactive stock price went a little bit down. Now I know it's not the only reason; there's other factors in, but I'd like to think that a little bit of the reason why it went down was because of Save Reddit Online, because it was this was trending on Twitter for you know uh, several weeks and it still is. So it's highlighting how much of a crappy developer Rockstar is, and less people are also buying gold bars because of this. So it's like people see how, how, how dishonest Rockstar is, and they're like, you know, screw this. You know, I'm not going to buy microtransactions, so it is accomplishing something. It's definitely not good press, and it's ex it's basically showing how, how much of a crappy company they are. So that's that's what it's exposing. GTA Online is way more alive, let's be honest. The only reason that GTA Online is more alive and you know it is because GTA Online has constant updates. That's why. It has constant large updates. I know that people are going to tell me the GTA player base is bigger. Yes, I agree. If Red Dead Online had the same amount of updates, the player base on GTA Online would still be bigger. I'm not denying that. However, the reason that one of the reasons the player base is so big on GTA Online is because of constant updates. If GTA Online did not have those constant updates, you would have less than half of those people playing it, which is still a lot. But it'd be less than half of those people. The reason people the numbers keep increasing is because they keep releasing big and free updates. That's why. Is um, if GT Online did not have those updates, you know, the, the, it would start losing players every few months. It would lose more and more players. It wouldn't gain more players. It keep losing players. And that's that's what would happen. So the people, you know, when I when I see like people say that Reddit Online is, you know, GT Online is better or something like that, you know, the only reason GT Online has the numbers it has is because of constant updates. If Reddit Online had constant updates, the numbers would keep going up and up and up. But because it's not, the numbers keep going down. Rockstar showed their real personality. Yup, they did, Ahmed. Um, the fact that you know. Rockstar has to be an idiot as a, as a company to not realize about Save Reddit Online. They know 100%. 100%. You know, I would bet money on that, that they know about the um, uh, Save Reddit Online. Definitely. They definitely know what's going on, but they're choosing to ignore it. There's no way they didn't see it by now. Um, and also, if you notice, their Twitter posts, their Twitter posts are at different times. They're much later usually now. And also, they're skipping Red Dead days a lot of times, and then they'll post like the next day. So they're posting like their Twitter, their tweets are like weird days that they never posted on. It's almost like they're trying to avoid the hashtag just so that their Twitter feed doesn't get spammed with it. What do you think of the GTA 5 story mode? I think it's okay, I just don't think it's as good as some of the other um, uh, GTA stories. Am I gonna play the um, the Modern Warfare trilogy before Modern Warfare 2022 comes out? Yes, I will, and I'm also gonna play the, sni the Sniper Elite games. Um. Yeah, I'm really expecting for the new Sniper Elite. It looks good. The first video I saw of yours was on the Pinkertons. Oh, thank you, Tech Tech Wall. If I'm saying your name correctly, um, um, thank you, man. I hit $1 billion on GT Online like you. Well, congratulations, Dark so uh, Sorcerer. Thank you for the super chat, guys. Okay, Brandon, we can sell your trader right after this. 
When is my Johnny Clubbits video coming out? It's gonna, it's, ta I know, I'm sorry for the delay in that one. It's just, I have other projects that I'm working on, but eventually I will get around to it. I don't want to give an exact date, but just know I have plenty of, like, GTA lore videos. There's so many, GTA 4 has probably, like, 20 more lore things that I could cover. That's just how big the lore is on GTA 4. Like, I was able to make a, such a such a long and detailed video on just Playboy and Dwayne. So there's, um, and they only appear in, like, what, four or five missions in the game? So there's, um, uh, there is just, uh, so much more lore I can cover, but just, just know I'm just overwhelmed with a lot of the lore I'm doing, and I'm also doing Saints Row lore at the same time. I just started a series on that recently. But, um, uh, know that I will cover, I will do a video on Johnny Klebitz, but the video I do on Johnny Klebitz isn't gonna be a lore video, it's gonna be more of a rant on how Rockstar destroyed his character and ruined his character. Um, cause it just, it, he was just not consistent with what he was in The Lost and Damned. Um, but I, w I do have a lore video coming out on who really called the police on, on, um, Billy. Because there's, there's something really suspicious in that mission that a lot of people miss. Um. I think it's Brian. How is he disappearing from, like this? He can't disappear like this. If I remember, he disappeared, like, and Billy didn't tell him nothing. There's a lot of suspicious things in that mission, um. No, I hope that you recover and that you feel better, Coco. Um, I like GTA 4's story because even though it's dark, it's really well written. Yep. So is Sleeping Dogs. That's why uh, Sleeping Dogs... If I was to compare Sleeping Dogs to any other game in, like, the atmosphere, I'd compare it to GTA 4. Even though the gameplay is very different, just the way the story is told is, is pretty similar to GTA 4 and just how the dark atmosphere... I'm going to bring me a jacket of a little cold. Oh, I really, you know, I really don't care what other YouTubers say about me, man. I really don't. Um, you know, they can make videos, I, I really don't care. What's the funniest thing a GTA mission has told you to do? Like, go and kill Lance Vance the backstabber and protect Mary from these violent... Um... <sighs> the funniest objective that I've ever seen? Um... Hmm. It's a hard one, Mario. Thank you for the super chat. I don't know, I'd, I'd have to think. Damn, I, I know there's there, I know there's some funny lines in the briefings, but I'd have to I'd have to think. Um, I'm back. Hello, um, uh, Kai. Do I prefer the classic GTA trilogy or the definitive edition? Um, I would say it, it's complicated. For San Andreas, I prefer the original San Andreas. For, because of just the problems I encountered. I was raging so much, like, if you watched my playthrough of San Andreas, you saw, I, I, every single glitch I encountered in San Andreas, I uploaded in the playthrough and I was raging during it. Like, I got kind of annoyed. Um, but it was, uh, San Andreas, the definitive edition, it, it prevented me from fully enjoying the game because of just all the problems I encountered when I was playing it. So I would say the original San Andreas I enjoy more, and also I like the original San Andreas because it has split screen, which the definitive edition does not. Um, now when it comes to GTA 3, and Vice City, I'd say I like the definitive edition of Vice City and GTA 3 better because they just they, the cities just look so much better. And Vice City looks really beautiful in the definitive edition. I think it looks really good. So um, I'd say San Andreas, I like the original, but Vice City and GTA 3, I like the definitive edition. You know, I actually thought that um, uh, they've done a re uh, uh, like uh, a redesign of the map because like. On the countryside, there's a road with a bridge. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, about? the bridge that was disappeared, and also the yeah. I I really don't like, I really don't like the fog in the new San, in in the San Andreas Definitive Edition. I know they added it back in, but the original fog is still so much better. Like it's just it's just it's just so stupid how you can see like you can see Las Vegas from Los Angeles or Las Venturas from from Los uh, from Los Santos. It's just so stupid. And then you can see you can see the desert from San Fierro. Come on. 
Like seriously, I know it's I know the distance isn't that great, but there should be some fog or something just to, because it, it makes it seem that the map's bigger than it is, and so it, I I just I just don't like that. I spent I think half an hour searching for a, a way around the, that bridge just because I thought it was like they removed the bridge for some reason. That pissed me off so much. Yeah, that bridge was annoying. You can drive over it though, you just won't sink, but it's, it's like an yeah, invisible. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Nico's best girlfriend for me, it is between uh, Kate and Kiki or Alex, but Kate is the most normal um, uh, one overall. I think Kate was the best girlfriend um, uh, because she was the one that Nico could connect with the most. Kiki is the most helpful um, uh, uh, girlfriend because she can get police off you, but she's, Kiki is also really creepy. Like Lester and a girl. Have I heard of this? No, I haven't heard of that one, Flaming. Is Sleeping Games a, a is Sleeping Dogs a continuation of the true crime uh, games? No, um, it's not in the same universe apparently. Even though it was originally called True Crime Hong Kong, and then it was bought by someone else who made it True uh, Sleeping Dogs. Okay, when it's at five minutes, it's deliver the bounty, um... Yeah, this is what's so stupid about the bounty hunting in, like, Reddit Online. This is so dumb. Oh, like, it's like, this. like... Like, imagine how weird this would be. Like, you you pull up in the Wild West, you, you, go, you go out in the wilderness, and you capture this psycho killer that killed a bunch of people and, like, robbed the bank or something like that. And you bring him back to the sheriff. And the sheriff just stands outside the jail, and, and you just... He sees you just hang, holding the guy like that. He's like, why aren't you bringing him in? And you're like, oh, you know, if, if I wait like an hour or two more, you'll pay me more. So I'll just wait. That's that's how weird it is. That's just, um, uh, that, that's so stupid. It should be the faster you bring him in, the more money you get paid. Speaking of raging, play Hotline Miami 2 on hard. I heard about that game being, um, uh, thank you Trashman for the super chat. I heard about that game being, uh, being difficult. Yeah, I think I'm about to get grieved by this um, black or something guy. He just sent me a message saying 1v6 and you might run. Wait, what happened? He just sent me a message says 1v6 and you guys run. I think we're about to get grieved by that guy. Who? Well, oh, I buy. Blake Tryhard. I don't I don't know what's going on if somebody killed him by accident or what but we're not looking for PvP that's it we're just playing and chilling and just having fun anybody that anybody that attacks like a full posse is dumb like or it's the same thing in GTA online where you had like you know people people would like I remember when I used to play GTA GTA online like we'd be running like a full MC like you know seven how many was it seven or eight people in the MC we're running it and we're trying to make a shipment delivering, you know, one of the businesses, and some idiot comes out of nowhere and attacks us. And then after we delivered the shipment, we all fought the guy, and then the guy starts complaining, it's not fair, it's like 1 verse 7, it's like, you're the one who attacked, like, a full MC trying to destroy cargo, what do you think is gonna happen? It's like, it's just, it, you, you know, if you, if you don't want to fight, don't start it. It's just, it's, it's just that. I don't, I don't, I don't get that logic. Um... But I don't know what's going on with this guy in Red Dead, though. Um, like, the only thing I'll say is that we don't want to fight. That's just it. Um, we just want to chill and have fun. So, I don't know if somebody killed him by accident. If somebody did kill him by accident, we apologize for that. But it's, um... I don't know what's going on with him. Um, what is the lesson in The Ballad of Gay Tony? I think that the moral lesson in The Ballad of Gay Tony is not to betray people. You know, you value friendship. You value friendship more over, um, uh, over what's better for you. Because it was that, you know, Lu Luis had a choice at the end of the game. He could have been, he could have been the owner of both clubs. He could have had both the clubs, made a ton of money, and but he would have to sell Tony out. And so he chose not to do that. So I think that was more of the moral lesson in that. Um, the 
moral lesson in The Lost and Damned is really what is brotherhood. That's, I think that's the lesson in that one. The lesson in GTA 4 is, 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 is revenge really worth it? That's, I think that's the moral lesson in that one. Um. It depends what you consider as revenge. I don't think the guy, um, deserved it at the end of GTA 4, even though he was a scumbag and a horrible human being. Um, yeah, but he was broken when Nico. Yeah, he was a drug addict. He was broken. Um, uh, you know, I don't think I think it would have. I think it's probably better to let the guy live, and just let him live with himself. Um, punch Shogo, punch dog guys. Um, uh, punch veteran child, punch Brian, Jeremy, punch Merrill, punch Rocco, and punch William Sharp. Yes or no? Yes. All those characters are scumbags. Is there a moral lesson in GTA 3? Um, uh, I think if, if anything, if the moral lesson would be don't, um, uh, uh, don't betray, um, a psycho. That's what it, I think, might be the moral lesson in that. Uh, let me disband this posse kind of here. Obvious. Let's, um, uh, join Brandon's posse and we'll help, uh, Brandon sell. Thank you, Mr. Waifu, for that super chat. Um, and thank you, Gabriel. What do you think happened to Wei when he was in the U.S.? He doesn't speak about it, but it's implying that he changed as a person. Well, it is actually kind of confirmed what happened to Wei. Um, according to the Sleeping Dogs lore, um, what happened was there was some triad in San Francisco that had sold his sister drugs, and she had overdosed and died. And what happened was the triad who had um, sold her drugs, his body was found in, in the water. And it was never solved exactly who did it, but it's heavily implied that it was Wei who did that. Um, so that's what he doesn't want to talk about. You gotta also remember, though, even though Wei is a, an undercover cop, Wei is a killer. He'll kill people, also. So that's what um, a lot of people don't get about his character. He's not. He he won't kill innocent people. That is. Um, but he's, uh, uh he, if somebody's in his way, that's, you know, a gangster or something like that, he'll kill them. Um. I don't think that that's allowed as an undercover cop. What's up? Uh, at, le at least in the U.S. I don't think it's, a, uh, the, the, uh, cops, uh, undercover cops are allowed to do this. No, undercover cops are not allowed to kill people, only in self-defense. Um, uh, so that's, 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 you know, you know, for obvious reasons. Yeah, it's for obvious reasons, but, like, it's a bit absurd, because, um, you put people to infiltrate again. What did it say on you if, like, one of your tests is to kill a guy? Like, I understand why not, okay? That's stupid. Well, the thing but, is, though, is yeah, that, yeah. is that in that type of situation, they just make, they might fake somebody's death. That's what they might do it. Um, the police could just ha contact that person and say, hey, this gang wants you dead. And then they might just ha tell them to, like, you know, take a picture of them pretending to be dead with a bunch of blood. And then just, uh, that they could use that to try to infiltrate the gang. Because this happens in real life, by the way. Um, not like with the undercover... In kind of like undercover stings, where, um... Let me, let me form a camp here, and I'm gonna come over to your, uh, your camp, Brandon. But basically what happens is, in real life, is when somebody's trying to hire a hitman... Um, because police will actually go undercover as hitmen. So they'll pretend to, like, want to, like, carry out a hit on somebody. And so what they'll do is, they will, uh, when they get, when somebody contacts them saying, Hey, I want this person dead. And oftentimes the person that, that wants the other person dead is either the husband or a wife. That's very common. And they will try to kill their spouse for insurance, um, uh, life insurance money. And so what will happen is, the police will then contact the husband or the wife, whoever is the target, and they'll t say, you know, your spouse wants you dead. And oftentimes they won't believe them. They're like, no, no, my spouse would not want me dead. And they have to show them like a video proof because the undercover cop is re is wired. And so um, when they show them the video proof, usually a person has like a breakdown. And then the police tell them like, hey, we're going to tell you, pretend to be dead. You know, you pretend to be dead. You know, we're going to take a few pictures of you, you know, lying down, pretending that there's blood over. And then we're going to we're gonna uh, then bring the person in. So then they would pretend that the husband or wife is dead. They would bring in the spouse that hired the killer. They get them in, like, um, a, a police interview, and they say to them, like, you know, we found your husband or wife dead, and then they'll show them a picture, and they pretend to fake cry. They pretend like they're upset or not, but they're, they're really not. And, um, and what will happen is then the hitman will come in and actually say, you know, I was a cop. 
and then the whole thing is up. And at that point, they're screwed. They're, they're charged with attempted murder. I believe that's what it is. Even though they weren't the ones who, who committed the murder, or were trying to commit the murder, they tried to hire somebody, which is, you know, pretty much the same punishment. Um... Could also be with murder. Wait, what? I think they could also be charged with murder and slaughter. The thing is, though, is in some cases, the hitman could actually get a lighter sentence than the person that, that actually hired them. Um, so that can actually happen. If the, if In cases where the, the police arrest the hitman who committed a murder, the hitman could actually face lesser charges than the person who hired them if the hitman testifies. Hitman is still gonna either spend life in prison or um, a good chunk of it, but the hitman will get a lesser sentence than the person who hired it, because the person who hired it is the ultimate mastermind who orchestrated the whole killing. Um, but Plus, it, there could be an example where the hitman. the hitman might get life in prison, where the 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 um, uh, the person who hired the hitman might get the death penalty. It, this, this does make sense because when you think about it, the, hit, the hitman is just a tool. Well, you know, it's it's different than that because the hitman is, you know, choosing to take end somebody's life. Um, but it was somebody else that brought him in to kill that person. So that's, you know, that's with undercover cops when they pr try to pretend to be hitmen. The glitchy metal um, gate in GTA 3 that got stuck in the road and started spazzing out when you hit it cracked, uh, uh, cracked me up a bunch. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, Mario, I remember that. I crashed into that one. And, uh, I don't know who that is, Big, uh, Big Chief. Thank, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the super chat. Brandon, if you can hear me, just go to the train tracks and the train's over here. I'm just gonna wait till the train moves right now. I'm just gonna go around this, like, um, this here and just get on the train tracks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's What's the moral the lesson in Vice City stories? How one mistake can ruin somebody's life. And don't drill through. Do I regret buying the House of Ashes Pazuzu Edition? No, Steve, I don't. Um, if I wasn't a YouTuber, then probably would regret it. But I don't regret it because I uh, I, I bought the House of Ashes Pazuzu Edition. The, the whole reason I bought it was so I could show people that it wasn't worth buying. Um, so I saved other people money. I don't think there is any collector Maybe, maybe this trail will be a real big package. The very case you're talking about. Oh yeah, I know that. That was the um that was oh yeah, that was Florida, you're right. And she the wife hired the hitman to kill the husband, and then the um uh the the hitman was actually an undercover cop. I remember that. And then the wife pretended to fake cry. I know exactly what you're talking about. But the thing is though, that's that's just one case. This does happen in other cases, it's just not recorded. Like it's not shown to the media. But that does happen, where the police pretend to be an undercover, like, they, the a hitman poses, a cop poses to be a, a, a hitman, so they go undercover that way. So that does, that does happen. Um, oh, that's okay, buddy vampire. Thank you for the super chat, though, man. What's the moral of the story of GTA San Andreas? Probably how drugs destroy everything. Not probably, not the lesson. Look at smoke, you sold everything out just for, like, money. Would you like a GTA in London, but this time HD? I don't know, maybe. We, we had Watch Dogs Legion recently, so I don't, I don't know if I'd want another game in London right away. Um, Unless they make the map significantly different, that is, but... But thank you, Gabriel, for that super chat, um... There, there are a lot of cities that, uh, that just left it. Like, I'd love to see, uh, Houston, DC... Do you know what two cities I'd like to see in an open world game that have never been done before? I'd like to see Moscow and St. Petersburg. 
two of the largest cities in Russia. I'd like to see a Russian city in like an open world game and like a game where you could play as a Russian mafia. I think the same thing as well, a little bit covered in uh, one of the hidden games, wasn't it? No, you're thinking of the Hitman movie, St. Petersburg was in there. Oh, oh the movie. St. Petersburg was also covered in Modern Warfare, I believe. I think that was in St. Petersburg in the 2019 Modern Warfare, but that's not an open world game. What's the moral of Red Dead Redemption 2 and GTA 5? I don't know if GTA 5... Oh, Ninja, Half-Blue is friendly. Um, uh, but, uh... I don't know what the... I don't know. Right, we had an incident here. Uh, okay, well, it's not that big of a deal. We still got the pelts, you know, put them on your horse and let's get out of here. Okay, put one on my horse. Yeah, can somebody keep that person away? Oh, great. Why that horse got in the way there. Thank you, Ninja. It's just one guy, though. It's not a posse. Okay. Everyone, get a bag and just get it and just deliver it to the shack. Everyone get a bag. Whoever doesn't have a bag, can you keep the guy busy? Just so he doesn't chase us down. Um, no, the shack should be, like, right below the, um, uh, right into New Austin, like, right when you, um, uh, go below, like, the mountain. Oh, come on, seriously, guys. Uh... Okay, well, I'm gonna have to block a bunch of people here now. Uh... Oh, okay, good. He left the block. He left the session. Yeah, we're gonna help Brandon sell another lobby here. These guys were desperate to join for an hour and they couldn't join and so they got like one of their new friends probably to try to join in. And they joined off of him. Oh, come on, that's the same guy from last week. Yep. Well, there was a new guy that attacked us. That Blake guy, I don't recognize him, and they probably joined off of him. That's probably what happened. Oh, the Blake guy? Yeah, I blocked him. The, the guy that says like, uh, 1v6. Still in free aim, so it's just. Uh, still in free aim, so it's just. I just. I couldn't change back to auto aim. I should have changed that back for the thing. Okay. Here we go, we got defensive enabled too. Brandon, can you find a new session please, by the way? Um, and just be ready to invite us. Um, also, everyone in this um, lobby, just block those people. Um,
I don't know if this guy's hostile or not, um, but I'm just blocking whoever I see as red right now. This guy knows I've blocked this guy. Uh, I got this guy blocked. Just gonna double check everyone. Block two. I don't know if this guy's hostile too, but I'm just blocking anyone who's red. Um, um yeah, because I, um, I parlayed them, I don't have them on red. Okay. So, um, what's their name? What's up? What are their names? Um, I don't know if the, uh, I, I know Tio and, uh, uh, Scotty and um, Seraph are hostile. I don't. I I think the Foreman guy is also hostile, but I'm not sure. But I just blocked him just because he's red. Okay. okay. I'm just waiting till um uh okay, Brandon sends an invite out. We have some new clients, I see. Okay, I'm gonna rejoin your posse right now, Brandon. Oh, um, uh, Saucer, we're just gonna rejoin Brandon's po posse right now, um... I could help you sell your trader trio, but you gotta wait a little bit, I'm just helping Brandon right now, we gotta see that these guys don't join again. Oh, did I, uh... I think I might have him blocked, um, a ninja, but I already left the session, um... I, I blocked him. Oh, yep. Wait, what? Oh, come on. That's cheap. Got some restaurant quality. That eye sexy guy? That eye sexy guy? His cover image is him killing you in the stream. Just so ignore pathetic. it. It's just, it's just giving him attention. The guy's just an idiot. That's so pathetic. Pathetic. They get on this game just to hate on it. If you just look at what their their thing is, their posse name, when you get killed by it, you can see they don't even like this game. They just get on it just to kill people like me. Do you think they should add bad sport to Reddit? Oh yeah. Um, thank you, gamer, uh, for the super chat. Is Ninja in here? Yeah. I'm gonna also change my uh, aim settings to um, auto aim again because I had it free aim and that screwed me up. Okay, I've locked all of them. I'm joining the boss now. Okay. Uh, let's see, pistol cartridges, here we go. Pro delete people from posse, but everyone in this posse is friendly, though we know that. Um, maybe one day, Matthew. Um, I'm on the PS4. Okay, um, I'm ready. Whenever. Same here. Who did that? Jonathan, could you check the player list? I don't want to show who's in the lobby, but it's, um, uh, could you just check if those people are in this lobby? Are they here? Sure. You missed my super chat and missed someone yeah, else. Yeah, the, hey, the, they're yeah. here? The I sexy guys, yeah. Okay. One of them. Uh, yeah, one well, of everyone's staying in the camp. Brandon, don't sell. If you're in the camp, they can't hurt you. 
Um, uh, thank you, Dark. Uh, the flag is raised, a flag. Thank you, Dark, for the um, super chat, Dark Zen. Um, I'm, I'm sorry if I missed your super chat. I apologize. Um, okay, flag is good. A place would be nice to be covered is a spy game thriller between Cold War and East West German and Berlin, and of course, open world game. Well, that was what Agent was supposed to be, Rockstar's Agent Gabe. Gabriel, but they they never released it. Um, thank you for the super chat. Um, and thank you, I Imperialist. I did play Red Dead Redemption 2 story, um, uh, but I might do a playthrough of it maybe one day again. Um, okay, we're gonna have to find a new session. Um, uh, if, if they're here, there's really, you know... Let me see here. Who... Oh, this guy, I don't have him blocked. Okay. That's it. Brandon, do you have the flag up at the camp? Okay. Let me see here. Um... Who was it that just shot me? Who just shot me before? Yeah, everyone should probably go offline too. That's probably gonna help. We'll do that right now. Did that a long time ago. Oh yeah, uh, they're obviously the same people that do this. They do this crap in GT Online. They do the exact same thing in GT Online, I guarantee it. I know that. That's why I didn't want to show the lobby list, Al, but there was nothing I could do at that point because they were already in the session. Okay, um... What is it? Um, uh, let me join Brandon's posse here again. Already in the posse. Okay, Brandon, um, uh, just everyone wait like a few minutes and just see if they're gonna join before you do any kind of sell. How did I decide on my profile icon? Thank you, Mario. Um, it was just, um, uh, you know, it was just something I decided on some time ago. I, uh, I, um, uh, you know, I like South Park, and I thought I'd make, like, a South Park kind of, like, avatar. I went, like, on a website that helped, like, make this avatar, like, years ago. I got some new hashtags that would hurt Rockstar in the, um, moneymaker. No more shark cards, save Rockstar games, fire Sam Hauser, huh? Well, thank you, JD, for the super chat. I think the Save Reddit Online one is the most important that we can focus on right now. Um, but I get the, um, I get them. Oh, uh, yeah, I did see that one, what? Um, wait a few more minutes and, um... Uh, and if if they don't join, then sell it. And um, uh, if they if they join at any moment, guys, just um, uh, just leave the session. And Brandon, just close your app too. If they join at any moment, um, my favorite uh, um, shocking moment in any GTA game probably when Manny died in GTA Four. Yeah, you're probably right. Um, if Sam Hauser quit, they just replace him with someone else. Okay, so far so good. I w I'll talk about South Park um, on my show. Um, what is the most useless thing in Reddit Online? The the um uh, what's his name? The guy that you can go to to change your honor. Old Man Jones. Yeah. 
I keep thinking his name is Old Man Jenkins because of Spongebob, but no, it's Old Man Jones. <laughs> Okay, Brandon, I guess try to sell it, and if they, if they at any point join, just, um, uh, just block. Block if you haven't already, and, uh, we're just gonna get, get into a new session. Oh, man, John's so useless. He doesn't even, like, do it max. He just goes into, like, uh, half-tilted to the way you want it to. Yeah, Lockbreaker is a waste, too. Story mode is good. Also, I um, I hope the extremists of the Save Reddit Online community don't take matters into their own hands because they'll damage the movement severely. Well, I and other YouTubers have said repeatedly not to harass developers. The only thing that the only thing people should be doing is just post a hashtag. That's it. Just post a hashtag and let Rockstar know you're unhappy. That's it. Um, if anybody, you know, does more than that, they harass devs or something like that, that's just, um, uh, that just hurts the movement. It makes it look bad. What's my favorite South Park episode? Um, the World of Warcraft one, or the, um, maybe even the Walmart one. Thank you, boss, uh, man, for the, uh, super chat. Hey, man. Uh, what's going on here is, um... Who's that? Do I like Family Guy? Not really. I like old Family Guy much more. Like, the new Family Guy honestly pisses me off. Like, the characters are a lot different. I grew up watching Family Guy in the, um, uh, in the early, uh, night, in the early 2000s and late 90s. I remember when Family Guy first aired. I was only just a few years old, but I still watched it and I thought it was funny. And when I was a little kid, I didn't understand a lot of the, the jokes in it, but I still thought that it was funny. Um... But, um, uh, you know, Family Guy, like, the past was, like, different. Like, the old Family Guy, like, when it first launched, like, Peter was an idiot, but he was still a caring father. But, like, in the new one, it's like, it's like somebody's constantly getting beat up. Like, every single episode of Family Guy, like, can they, can they not go one episode without somebody getting beat up? Like, I know it's funny at times, but just so annoying when somebody's getting beat up or something, or something like that happens every episode of Family Guy. It's gotten ridiculous. My Friday is going good. And um, besides, if they always like burn. Uh, not burn, but insult. No, why did it spawn all the it way up there? The oh come on, man! What did I do to you? It's just I I don't know what this what this guy's problem is here. I think this is I think this guy's probably a random, isn't he? Where is this? Wait, where is the wagon right now? I'm confused. Hey, wait, where's the wagon right now? Wait, I don't get it. Didn't you spawn with the wagon? Wait, no, it's it's over there. Okay, wait, no, I'm I'm confused right now. I thought I was at the right camp, but I guess I wasn't. Okay, I'm 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 just so confused right now. No, I was at the wrong place. I was like looking around for the wagon, and I was like, where the hell is it? And it's like it t turns out it's all the way in New Austin, so it's just. Oh yeah, so you're, yeah, um, Brendan joined the guy and just uh, responded at the camp. 
Also, personal question, should Sam Hauser and Strauss Zelnick be fired from there? And what would your reaction be if they, uh, if they did get fired? They're not gonna get, you know, the... The, the only thing that Sam Hauser or, or Strauss Zelnick could actually get fired for is they'd have to be doing something strictly against company policy, either stealing money or um, uh, refusing to do something for the company. Um, you know, something like that. It's like they're not going to get fired for, like, you know, what they've done to Reddit Online, or they're not going to get fired for, like, um, uh, the GTA Expanded and Enhanced. They have, like, no chance of getting fired for that. Um... Thank you for the super chat, though, JD. Um, but I don't think I really have much of a reaction because, you know, if Sam Hauser got fired, it's like, you know, what, are they going to bring in somebody who's, who's caring now? It's like, I don't really think there's going to be anybody better. Um, uh, uh, the, that I think you guys John, just joined the session, so friends are probably joining too. So, Brendan, uh, be ready to close the app. Okay, pro, what are By your the thoughts way, those about... Guys are killing you, the, those guys that are killing you just ran this. The new car, um, Scoundrel, the GTA, the class, um, uh, but no word on Reddit online, not a peep, huh? You sound like Phil Leotardo in Sopranos, not a peep when you say that, but it's, um, uh, I would say that, um, uh, you know, it's, it's obvious, you know, they're giving GTA Online more attention, but we'll see. We'll see what happens, um, uh, what I'm, lo what I'm looking forward to the most is this Tuesday, because this Tuesday we'll know what Rockstar's response is. The event month ends? So we're going to see if there's going to be any info, anything on all. They do another month-long event week. They're read it on, you will see so much of that Reddit Online, save Reddit Online spam. It'll be everywhere. Um, and I think there's um, there's one person I didn't. I don't think I blocked. Um, uh. Look, uh, Rockstar have shown that they can ignore their friends even if they're pissed. One, this guy I think I need to block, one, right? I, I don't know if the Reddit Online movement will do something that will significantly make Rockstar change their path and do something about Reddit Online because for two years now they've shown us nothing. Is that ex Cal guy um friendly or not? I don't. I. S Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look. He's not on the radar. You see that? He's cheating. He's not on the radar. I think you got your answer. Oh. Cheater. I'm gonna block this guy, too, since he's, he's red, too. Guys, everyone, um... Uh, report the AS guy. Everyone do it. Cheating. Everyone right off the radar. Better than doing nothing. I mean, like, look at this, like... That's honestly just... Like, I'm what a loser. That's... When I showed, uh, my, uh, friend, uh... Oh, well... The MP... The... N the... Police NPCs in uh, in GTA 5 really suck. Mario, thank you for the super chat. No, they don't ban any off the radar um, uh, cheaters, imperialists. At least I I hope that with the report it'll do something because we also have them on camera cheating. And thank you, uh, JD. Last chat is the Versetti gang, um, gang scrubs Diaz's men and Ferelli Splinter group. Competent because I hear a lot of them say you did what? Diaz's get uh, men in Ferelli Splinter Group. Uh, well, what do you mean, JD? You mean them versing each other? I'm a little confused. Hmm. 
thank you for the super chat also, Paul. Everyone in the posse, you have to make sure to block all of them. Um, because if you don't block one of them, then it's not, um... And the fact that even when they do off the radar, you can't even lock onto them. That's just so ridiculous. But, um... Yeah. What a loser. Gotta cheat to get kills. That's the only way you can get kills. Everyone make sure you do report him. Rockstar is doing nothing about glitches. Oh, I, I disagree. Rockstar does do something about glitches when it's a money glitch. When it's a money glitch, oh man, Rockstar just jumps right on that and they're gonna fix that right away. But when it's uh when it's something like this, somebody going off the radar, yep. They're not gonna deal with it. Um I remember that a few years ago you had like a money glitch from the orbital cannon. Um and at the same time you had the orbital cannon glitch, the famous one. So uh, yeah, no, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. There was, there was a glitch on GT Online years ago where people would fire the orbital cannon, they would kill you, and not only would they kill you, but they would also get an extra amount of money. So all the money that they got from the orbital cannon, they'd get extra money on top of that. So they would make millions of dollars just orbital cannoning people. And what Rockstar did is they fixed a part of that orbital cannon glitch that gave them money, but they didn't fix the orbital cannon glitch itself. So that was just, um, uh, you know, you'd think they'd fix the whole thing entirely, but it's like, no, they just fixed a part of the glitch where they were making money from it. Um, Mike Torino or the UL paper guy? Who is the coolest? Uh, Mike Torino. The Rossetti family consists mostly of Diaz's men and a ridiculously large splinter group from the Frelli family because they trust Tommy Mike. <coughs> yeah, but it mostly most of them are, are Diaz's guys, JD. Thank you, JD and Gabriel, for the... Um, Super chat. Oh, we got Fool's Gold. Okay, that's cool. We can play this now. Have some fun with this. <coughs> you okay, Jonathan? Yeah, just some cold with leftovers. No, come on, game. Seriously, like, what? That's so stupid that the game decides to lock on to the person that's farther away from you than the person that's right in your face. That's so dumb. Man, that was really dumb. What a friend. Oh, yeah. When can I play Sniper Elite 4? Well, I'll play Sniper Elite 3 first. Um, I don't know when I'll do it. Um, uh... Guys, also, don't use explosive rounds on them if you guys can please avoid that. Um, only use it, I guess, when they're using it, then.
I think body shots should do more damage in this game. I really think they should. Pro, what do you think of Cole Phelps as a character? Is he a good guy or an opportunist who seeks fame? Also, what do you... What, what, would you do a playthrough of Ellie Noir maybe one day, Gabriel? I'll tell you about Cole Phelps, is, um, Cole Phelps was that type of guy that, like, went into the officer school in, like, um, uh, the military and thought that he deserved everything and that he deserved all this respect from his men just because he went to the school to become an officer. But the other men, they went through, like, you know, all this crazy training and everything. He just, you know, got the education to become an officer, really. He didn't do some training, but... And that, that happens a lot, where in the military, they don't really have as much respect for the people that are become officers through, like, schooling. They have much more respect for the people that work their way up. But, um, as for Cole Phelps, I'll say Cole Phelps is the perfect example of a real-life thing, and that is that everyone is good at something, and everyone is bad at something. That's basically what, uh, what Cole Phelps, uh, you can describe Cole Phelps with. Because, when you think about it, Cole Phelps is a terrible commander. He's a terrible military commander. Like, what, what was he, a lieutenant? I'm trying to remember what his rank captain. He was a, a high rank. But when it came to the military and giving orders, he was terrible at it. Just terrible. But when it came to being a police detective, he was an amazing detective. So it's just, it shows that everyone's good at something and terrible at something else. That's the ultimate lesson with Cole, I would say. Oh, wait, I'm thinking of the guy from L.A. Noir. No, not the, um, I think, isn't Cole Phelps the, the guy from Infamous? Damn it, I messed that up, I think. Whatever. Um... Is Cole, wait, no, Cole Phelps is that, no, okay, no, yeah, his name is Cole Phelps, I'm trying to remember now, the guy from Infamous was also called Cole, but, okay, yeah, no, I was thinking of the same guy from, uh, okay, yeah, wow, that was a fail, look at that, he just dived into a headshot. Sleeping Dogs topic, Sammy, Johnny, and Ponytail, are some of these guys uh, sociopaths or straight-up psychopaths? Are these uh, sociopaths? Well, Johnny, there's not really much to do because he's, he only appears in, like, what, two missions? Um, uh, I think that Big Smile Lee is probably a psychopath. Um, thank you, JD, for the super chat. But I'd rather chill with Trevor or Claude Trevor. Claude doesn't talk. No, it's just, it's just that you feel more safe around Trevor, honestly. Because you yeah, don't know I what know. what Claude is going to do. Yeah, like, I, I honestly think that Claude is more dangerous than Trevor. I do. So it's, um... Yeah, because no, Trevor's loaded with his friends. What I'll say about Trevor is that, um... Trevor is not going to kill you for no reason. He's not going to do that. Um, uh, Trevor is only going to kill somebody if they, you know, screw him over or if you piss them off enough. But other than that, he's not really going to kill um, somebody or betray people. Um, look, I'm using a Litchfield repeater, a gun that almost no one uses in this game. So many people go for headshots. Yep, and the, the headshot spam, I'll tell you this, it's annoying. Um, I wish the body shots did more damage, that's what they should do to balance out the headshot spam. Body shots should do more damage. Wow. Explosive rounds. Well, I gave him explosive rounds back too. Hope he enjoyed it. That was the, the thing. I wasn't using it until he pulled it out.
Got him. Ledge Field Repeater does a little bit more damage, that's why I'm using it, and I use Focus Fire with Express Ammo, which does more damage with Deadeye. So it's, um, I can drop people in two shots. Ah. Yeah, I think Litchfield is really underrated, but I think the most underrated gun in the game, I think definitely the most underrated gun is the Springfield rifle. Yeah, 100% Springfield is the most underrated gun. This channel's dead as hell. I don't know what you mean. If you mean, does this channel get less views than it did in the past? Sure, because I moved on to doing other content, you know. What channel... Tell me something. What channel wouldn't, you know, lose a lot of views when they start doing other content than they normally do? But I've gained a lot more views over time also. So it's, um, I don't know what you're, uh, what you're trying to say here. And, you know, I do what I like to do on this channel. We have fun, and I'm passionate about it, and I'm not that type of guy that goes crazy for views. You know, I'd rather have... I'd rather have that I'd rather have thousands of viewers that actually like me and respect me instead of having millions of viewers that hate my guts like these clickbaiters. So that's just what I'll say about that. Oh, I got- I, I have gotten, like, you know, over a thousand viewers on Red Dead streams before. You know, it's uh, usually when there's, like, an update that comes out, but... I had hit over 2,000 viewers when I did my 1 million subscriber stream. Um... Uh, thank you, Miss Kiwi um, uh, Gaming. Thank you for sponsoring the channel. And sorry, Mario, I, I didn't see it. Um, uh, what's your favorite line a character says when they kill another character in GTA, GTA series? It would have to be in Vice City when Tommy says to Sonny, No, I just wanted to piss you off before I kill you. Or, um, oh, yeah. I know it was, I was a little bit into the mission, he kills him a little bit later in the mission, but that was like, you know, his final line before he says, You took 15 years for me, Sonny, and now I'm gonna make you pay. Um, I also like it when Nico says to Playboy, he says, You didn't change the game, the game changed you. So I like that one too. You wanna push her leg and try to sell something? Um, yeah, is, is, um, is Trio Knight in here, by the way? I, I don't want to check the player list, because I don't want to show the griefers who's in the lobby. Yeah, Trio Knight is in here, and, uh, yeah, it, yeah, but never mind, they're here. The griefers are here? Yeah. Somebody is, uh, somebody hasn't blocked them. Um, uh, that's what happens, is... We might have to play with a really small posse of, like, four people in the future. And then we'll just have to, um, make sure that everyone has those, all of them blocked. Maybe I don't have one of them blocked. Um... Thank you, um, uh... thank you, Luco, for uh, sponsoring the channel. Nico's best friend, apart from Roman and Y, little Jacob, because he always has his back. And thank you, Luco, for sponsoring the the channel. They have, well, they have a lot more players in here. I see we have some fresh customers. Uh, <laughs> you can see in the first squad. Okay, hang on. Here's what we're gonna do right now. Um, trio. Um, uh, 
Creo, form, go to another session and form a posse. And then invite me to that posse. And only invite, like, four other people to the posse. And, um, everyone that's in the posse, make sure you have all of those guys blocked. Every single one of them. And make sure you also appear offline. If you want to add some flavors, be quick. Soon this patch will be finished. Posse actually... But his bossy names actually hashtag kill rather than online. Exactly. It's, it's like I said, these shit. these guys these guys don't even like the game that they're playing. They just get on it just to harass people. I'm sending you an image with all of the players. You don't even need to send me a picture of that. Um, I've seen it before. It's just it don't give me, give them attention. Um, Red Dead no, Redemption they Two. Have, like, they have new players. No matter if you're honorable or dishonorable, Arthur either dies from violently from mica or he dies painfully from tuberculosis. It's dark, yep. It is. So who 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 are they if I didn't block somebody else? Like what who who am I supposed to block? I recognize a few of them. Um Silkis blocked him? Is is he's hostile? Yeah, he's in their posse. Okay. Oh wait, that actually might be um. Uh, this actually could be good. Um, take a screenshot of that, and then you know everyone would block. Um. Okay, let's make sure everyone in here is blocked. Guys, make sure you block every single person in that posse. Everyone that's. Uh, Every single, everyone that's one of my friends, make sure you block every single person in that posse. Because if one of them is not blocked by somebody, and that's how they're getting back in here. If everyone has them blocked, they won't be able to join in. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, I got them all blocked. Foreman guy, I have him blocked too, right? Yes, I do. Okay. Is the next Red Dead Redemption going to be a prequel or a sequel? I think it'll probably be a sequel. I can't imagine them doing another prequel. Thank you, Imperialist, for this. Uh, from the uh, uh, super chat, is Roy Earl from LA Noir a sociopath? You'd have to remind me who Roy Earl is again. I haven't played that game in so long. I do remember the story and what happens, but I don't remember all the characters' names. Which one is Roy Earl? Would Caesar betray Carl? Why or not? No, Caesar would never betray Carl. Oh, okay. So everyone, you have to have your online status to friends only. That's another thing is. Everyone has to have online status to friends only. And, um, that's another thing. I have sent some of our latest what did I think of Ghost of Shushima? Um, uh, oh, the, the, the vice desk, that was the partner that you had? Oh yeah, that guy was a bad guy. Um, the narcotics partner, yeah, I remember him. He was a bad guy. He was the only partner in the game that was actually bad. Like, all the other partners were good except him. He was the only partner that was bad. Oh, yeah, he, Sergeant Martinez did one, Vic, dead. Yeah, okay, everything here is probably only, like, friends only. All of us? No, um, me. Oh, okay. Uh, Trio, can you invite me to another session here? Um, maybe I'm in too many posses, that might be why he can't. Yeah. Let me leave Brandon's posse here. Okay, I need an invite. Uh, invite me again, specialist. Just make sure that you're in another session. The 3D universe, my favorite line would have to be, um, uh, Tommy Versetti when he says to Sonny, uh, no, I just wanted to piss you off before I kill you. HD universe, my favorite line. Um, probably from Nico. you didn't change the game, the game changed you to Playboy. 
Um, Trios, did you invite me to a coffee? Yeah, I was waiting for Trio's invite. It's just business, yeah, that Wei says that before he kills dog eyes. Um Let me see if I can just join you then, um Trio. Uh let's see here. Oh, um what is it? Um Jonathan, can you join Trio's session and then invite me to it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll invite you because I'm in this session now. They can invite you if you're offline as you don't appear in the list. Uh, oh, they can't invite you. Okay. I got you, Saucer. Oh, yeah, no, well, let me, I'll appear online for a moment then just so I, I can get the invite here. Okay, invite me then, Trio. Yeah, I will do a video on the Carnales eventually, Kevin. Okay, I sent you an invite. I thought it's a closing thingy. Okay, let's see here. Consider you like Tommy's line. Imagine you were the prosecutor and you were prosecuting the criminal who killed your family. And will you say that line? Well, um, the thing. Uh, thank you, Patrick, for the. Um, uh, thank you for sponsoring my channel. But the prosecutor wouldn't. A prosecutor would not be prosecuting a guy that would that killed his family. That wouldn't happen. That's like you know, a bit of Ace Attorney logic. But um, they a prosecutor would normally have no personal connection to the case. I think Troy was a guy that was kind of in the middle of being bad and good. We can't join you now, though. Um, uh, what is it? Um, okay, let's try to s see if we can get Saucer Cats um, uh, an invite here. Um, let me join the posse here, too. I speak Polish, I can. Should That's fine, what? To the, to the posse? Oh, yeah, can you invite Jan to the posse, um, trio? GTA Moral Lessons and other games, Liberty City Stories, business can be very dark and dangerous. The Ballad of Gay Tony fame and uh, has a dark and cruel side. Uh, five, trust the people you know. Hmm. I guess. Um, I think that, uh, I think the lesson of Liberty City Stories might be more that the, the Mafia loyalty is all BS. I think that's what it might be. Because they, these guys talk about family and loyalty all the time, and yet they constantly screw each other left and right. Um, and so Salvatore screwed Tom, uh, Tony over at the end when he promised him a million, but he said he gave him 500,000. I can think of another guy who's talking about family and loyalty. Who? Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel? I'm going to appear online for a second, just uh, send me a message when I uh... Oh, 
little bit right now. What was the message in Vice City stories that um how one mistake can ruin somebody's life? I think that's what it was mostly. I look forward to more GTA lore videos from each game. Thank you, Josh. Thanks, Finn. Okay, people need to appear online for a second so that they can receive um, invites, um, Saucer says. From GTA 4, do you think, after all, did Nico get a green card and or bought his family from Serbia to the US? He didn't bring his family from Serbia, but no, he seemed to get permanent residency by the time of GTA 4. Uh, Gabriel, thank you for the super chat. He probably had family members spo like Roman sponsor him. People think that the Midwest is a wasteland in the middle of nowhere. I don't know why, and those people are stupid. Um, it's just, it, you know, people live in these cities on the east and west coast, and they think that they think the east and west coast is the most important part of America, and they think that like the midwestern states are flyover states. When the ironic thing is that the airplane was actually invented in the Midwest, it was the Wright brothers. So if they didn't have if they didn't have the Midwest, you wouldn't have airplanes, and yet they call the Midwest flyover country. It's, um, uh, you know, it's just, you know, just stupid people. They think that everything revolves around the big cities, and they think that the, they think that the Midwest is like an abandoned wasteland or something like that. It's just, you know, dumb, ignorant people. I wouldn't pay attention to those people. I'll tell you something, like, you know, it's just, when I, when I tell people, like, some people have asked me, you know, where I moved to when I visit my family in New York, and they think I moved to Florida or something, and I tell them, like, no, I moved to the Midwest. And they seem to think that the Midwest is like some big trailer park or something like that. It's just, no, it's not, that's not true. There's bigger and nicer houses in the Midwest than in New York. So it's, um, uh, and they're much more and affordable much too. Cheaper. Yeah, they're much more affordable too. You know, the next, the next time somebody tells you that like, um, uh, the Midwest is like some abandoned wasteland, just tell them how expensive the property price is in your state. Because oftentimes they live in one of those states where like the property is just so expensive and nobody can buy anything. And the rent is so high. Just tell them that. How high is the rent and the property prices in your area? And that usually will sum up, uh, make them stop. Well, he hello Mark I Sim. What's up, man? Yeah, I think I think people definitely do need to travel more. Um, I I I I just don't understand that like about tourists, for instance, when they come to America. Like nothing against tourists or anything, but like I see so many tourists, they never visit any other place in America except New York, where I'm from. They just they they, they come from Europe, for instance, and they'll just visit like New York City, and they'll be like, okay, that's it, I'm done, I'm going back. It's like that, and that's the only place that they'll visit in like America. It's like why? Why won't you visit anywhere else? I don't understand. So it's just that. I, I know people want to see New York, don't get me wrong, but a lot of people, they just visit New York, and they don't go anywhere else in America, nowhere else. Um, I visited New York, um, and, a lot of the mid and a lot of the Midwest states as well, and, and the South. Um, New York was one big disappointment. I can tell it for sure. And a big part of it was actually the... the you're going. To, you're thinking you're going to be in a nice, clean town, but you're arriving in something that is basically not. No, I know how you feel. Um,
People have to live with roommates in New York City, and they split rent. Yup, they do. That's that's how ex that's how ridiculously expensive the rent is in New York that you can't even live by yourself. Uh, okay, uh, can you invite Saucer Cats again? And, uh, more people to the posse. I don't want to show the player list or anything, because I don't want to... I don't want the griefers to see who's in the lobby. Um, I guess Florida, but, like, you know, I don't know why people don't go to other places in America. Like, you know, why don't people visit the Heartlands, for instance? They think it's gonna be boring. That's probably why they don't go. What is the most evil thing Claude did and why? Um, when he captured people and um, uh, brought them over to uh, Marty Chonks' dog factory. Dog food factory, yep. Right, well, I shouldn't say even he captured them, but he drove them there, knowing what was going to happen. Something is going to happen. Oh. Does the posse have space? I don't want to check the... Uh, Posse, because I don't want to show the player list. Can you look, Jonathan? Just a second. Max Payne Trilogy Lesson. Uh, I haven't played the um, uh, Max Payne 1 and 2. I did see playthroughs of them. For Max Payne 3, I don't... Um, I don't know if there really is a moral lesson in Max Payne 3. Um, okay. Uh, everything's fine over here, but for some reason I can't join his posse. Um, I'll try on it. Okay, Saucer, um... Greetings from the Netherlands. Hope you and your, um, uh, friends, uh, uh, can finally have a peaceful stream. Well, thank you, man. No, you can't do bank robberies in this game, Aristotle. There's, like, one mission in the online that's kind of like a bank robbery, but it's just a mission. There are missions in the single player that focus on that, but... Is it cold in New York? It depends what you mean by cold. I don't live in New York right now, so I, I can't tell you what the temperature there is. You're very welcome. Anytime. God bless you. I also look forward to other playthroughs, too. I also enjoy watching your SOCOM 1 playthrough. Looking forward to seeing the rest of them. Yeah, and I will do SOCOM, um, uh, the other SOCOM games this year. I'll do them. Uh, you need, uh, Trio, you need to remove the persistent posse members. There's some persistent posse members. That's preventing new people from joining the posse. How polluted was New York? For the most part, the air, I think, is fine in New York. Um, but the, um, uh, the water is very polluted. Very, very polluted. Um, yeah, uh, don't ever Calvary. swim in the Hudson, New York. And I'll tell you something, even the, even the water at, like, Coney Island is not, is not completely safe to, um, uh, to swim in. Like, I did a video when I went to Coney Island. Um, I went to Coney Island, like, a, like, what, like, a, a month and a half ago. But it's just the, uh, the, the water in Coney Island, if you just Google it, you'll see how much bacteria is in the water comparing it to other waters. Um, do I drink alcohol? No, not at all. I don't drink any alcohol whatsoever. And I'm 27, for people wondering. So no, I don't drink any alcohol. I, um, uh, the only thing I'll have is I'll have a glass of champagne on the, um, uh, on, like, New Year's, but that's it. Nothing else. Um, um... No, I know you don't, I know you don't swim in the Hudson, Jay-Z, I know that. But the thing is, though, is that there's no, the Hudson is very polluted. Very, very polluted. But do you know what I see? I see people fishing sometimes in, like, the waters of New York when I visited there. And when I lived there. And I'll tell you, though, that's like, no, no, no. You could not pay me to eat a fish from the waters in New York. No thank you. Max Payne 3 is disgusting. It's 99% cutscenes and alcohol. No, I don't think so. I The only thing I'll, 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 I will agree with you on is I think that... If they ever remaster Max Payne 3, they should let you skip the cutscenes, because that's annoying how you can't skip cutscenes in Max Payne 3. But other than that, I think Max Payne 3 is a great game. I see you love my comment on your recent GT Online video. What did you think of it? That was the comment about um, uh, politicians should focus on real problems instead of trying to blame video games, right? Um, when you play Sniper Elite 5, are you going to have multiplayer on? Um, maybe, I don't know. 
We'll see. Um, no, I don't smoke anything. I would say, um, uh, my favorite, my favorite map in a GTA game would probably have to be, um, uh, probably have to be the San Andreas map. My favorite story would probably have to be GTA 4. Well, politicians will always blame stupid things, um, uh, because you gotta remember, politicians want to get elected. So, they're gonna try to make false promises and blame things that aren't at fault and try to campaign on those issues just to get public attention. And one of those things that they'll campaign on is video games. They do that all the time. Oh, now it's working. I, I, I saw your comment, um, uh, I saw your comment, Jojo. I will, uh, well, they're not in the session right now, but if they, if that, if I see that account, I'll block it. Um, I think the main lesson for Max Payne 3 is letting things go, because he tried to avenge um, his boss and his wife, but in the end he spared uh, Victor. That might be it, letting things go. That's a good one there, um, Gabriel. Thank you, Foreman. Um, uh, thank you for the super chat. Oh, wait, who was... Oh, was that, was that one of the griefers? No, well, I don't, I don't know now. A message deleted, but it's, um, yeah, I think it was one of the griefers. Okay, Trio, whenever you're ready, let's sell this. Your videos on GT Online Business have helped me a lot as a returning player. Well, thank you, um, Gogo. -Go. I'm gl glad they helped you out. Thank you for the super chat. My day was good. <sighs> My day was good. Oh, this is actually really close by. Are you doing a local sale by any chance? Because this is like, this is not a far drive at all. That's whatever. No, no. Um, I, I just never got around to making that video because there wasn't really that many ve uh, uh, there wasn't that many vehicles released in 2020 and 2021 that I thought were really essential. played Mortal Kombat. I played some of them when I was younger, but um, I don't um, uh, I don't remember which one. I'm that I'm not good at those games. G which game has a better story, GTA San Andreas or Red Dead Redemption 2? I'd say Red Dead Redemption 2. Is a Mauser pistol good for Red Dead Online? Well, it has a very high fire rate, but it's not as accurate as some of the other pistols. You can spam it at close range, so you can take people out of hip, hip fire at really close range very fast. What's the best horse in the game? Well, it's all up to opinion. I think it's the Black Arabian horse, in my opinion. Um, what's your full thoughts on Sopranos? Answer? Um, I thought it was a great TV show. I thought it was, you know... It's just a shame that so many so many people, especially like you know, kids and teenagers, don't even know what the Sopranos is today. Like, it's like... I, I literally have like um uh, people people can tell you what game of thrones is they can tell you what like the walking dead is but like when you ask them what the sopranos is barely anyone knows 
I know you've seen it, Jonathan, but like a lot of people like today, they haven't um uh they they don't they haven't watched it, they don't even know what it is. Um yeah, I watched it as a kid, so I don't remember it as much. I'm pretty much it now. I'm on like sixty-two. I do like right the Bioshock when, series. Uh, um, but Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones is a good series. Like I, I can see why people watch it. Um, I love it. I don't really have much interest in it. And you're right. It, it is a shame that a lot of people don't know this properly. I do like the Bioshock series, Gabriel. Thank you for the super chat. Um, wait, you're 27, you look 19. Well, thank you, man, but I am 27. Yeah, sleeping, next part of Sleeping Dogs will be up right after the live stream. You know the thing is though is I was recently rewatching the Sopranos. Um, uh, I was rewatching that episode. Um, which one was it? The one where I was watching the scenes when Tony um, uh, Tony borrows two hundred thousand dollars from Hesh. And so what happens is that remember Tony's slow on paying back his loan. He doesn't pay it back on time. And Hesh gave him that money as a friend because Hesh is his friend. Hesh, even though Hesh is not a made man, Hesh is still Tony's friend, and uh, he gave Tony that huge loan. And so Hesh is scared to ask Tony for his money back, but um, Hesh, you know, eventually does ask Tony for his money back. And even though Tony pretends to be nice about it, he does kind of insult Hesh in a way. And then he starts ranting, like, when he's not near Hesh about how he, how he, he dares ask him for, like, the money back, and he's giving him an attitude and everything like that. But at the same time is, whenever Tony borrowed anybody money, he would ruin their lives. He was very unreasonable, and he would destroy their lives and threaten them and beat them up. But then the set, but he, when he borrows money, he's a massive hypocrite. He's not gonna pay it back on time. That just shows you what a total yeah. scumbag Tony Soprano is. Yeah, like Cloak, uh, when he borrowed money to this guy, when he wanted to go to the poker table, and he brought his son's SUV to meet him because. Uh, no, I remember that. And then he and then he blamed his son's like bad behavior for giving away the SUV. Yeah. That was the guy with the department store. Um I think Eric was his name. I think it was, yeah. I stopped watching The Walking Dead so um uh so long ago like it was just that show started boring me so much oh you're talking about the joke when tony tony didn't kill polly um, the thing is, though, is I, I, I thought that Ralph deserved it, like, what happened, like, with Johnny Sack getting really angry, I thought that Ralph deserved it, because Ralph is probably the only guy that's a bigger scumbag than Tony in that crew, like, Ralph was the biggest scumbag in the, uh, Soprano crew, definitely, he was even worse than Tony, like, I just, I hated Ralph, that, that was just a really bad guy. Walking Dead, more like Watching Dead. <laughs> no, I never owned a GameCube, but I did borrow my friends to play um, uh, Super Mario Sunshine. We had a lot of fun with that.
Am I the only one who liked when Tony killed Christopher? I mean, it's... Oh! I... Wait, Spoiler what? alert, dude. Spoiler alert. I didn't even remember that. Oh, well, I, I thought... Uh, you, you said you... I, I'm sorry, then. I thought you watched it all. Um... Yeah. You know What's nah, up? Fine, though. Okay, well I'm sorry. It's fine, then. Though. I remember that they killed some relative. I thought it was AJ. No, he doesn't die. Uh. Yeah, but he Chris became a liability at that point. Um. Uh. Like I can see why he's, he's drug addict. He, he doesn't have a good aim though. But, uh, his crew, his crew constantly keeps, like, train Tony, train Christopher. Chris was a, um, uh, Chris was a good soldier, but he was a terrible captain. Yeah. Um, and, uh, that was the thing about him, is, um, uh, he, he didn't know how to manage anything on his own, he was an idiot. Um... Also, you gotta remember the, the type of person that Chris is. Him and Polly just shot like some innocent waiter, remember that, and they didn't care about it. Like, at all. There was like no remorse whatsoever. And like, and then Polly was, I think Polly was sick. There was that one episode when, when Polly was asked if he was scared he was gonna go to hell, and then Polly said something along the lines, he's like, I'm not gonna go to hell, I'm gonna go to purgatory, and then he's like, he's like, I can just spend some years in purgatory, and then I'll go to heaven. It's like, I don't, uh, you know, if you believe in religion, I don't think it works like that, Polly. It's like, uh, the, considering all the bad things that he did. Um. So I, um, uh. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into game chat right here. I'm gonna play a little bit of poker right now. Okay. I'll be back in the party in a little bit, guys. Uh. uh I, I hope there will be another update for Red Dead. Um, thank you, Saucer. Is Brian Johnson important to the story of San Andreas? He's mentioned a, a bunch of times. As you did a playthrough of Watch Dogs, who do you think has a strong moral towards crime? Um, Way, Aiden, or Cole, Cole Phelps. Um, I think it's more Aiden because Aiden will bring all these... Um, Aiden probably does the most amount of damage to the to the gangs. Yeah, Aiden does the most amount of damage to criminals than um uh than Way or um Cole. Thank you, Gabriel, for that super chat. I mean, Aiden brings down the entire um uh, mafia, and uh, he brings down the mafia. Um, and then what is he? What is the name of that gang that um? What was the name of the gang that Iraq ran? Um, I'm trying to remember what they were called, but he brought them down too, and he brought down the Mafia. No, but the Mafia was the Irish Mafia, right? It wasn't the Italian Mafia, but it was still a Mafia. Um, the Viceroys, yeah, that's what they were called. Okay, why not? 50 cents. Let's see here. Uh, I don't got one matching car. That sucks. Yeah, folding. The Chicago South Club. Yes, that was based on the Chicago outfit. Um...
Do I play poker in real life? No. I, I said earlier, like, they could do a, a, um, you know, a game in, like, Chicago in the 1920s. They could do that. It would be very, it wouldn't necessarily have to be called Red Dead, but it could be in the same universe as Red Dead. I'm not that excited for GTA Expanded and Enhanced. <coughs> hey Patrick, happy Friday. Glad I caught part of the stream. Hope you're doing well, man. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, uh, thank you for the, um, super chat, man. Oh, and thank you for the, uh, wow, thank you for the, um, uh, thank you for the stu super chat there, L Lyric. I do really appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you, uh, $50 super chat. I do really appreciate it. What about your guts? I'm a bit confused, but, um, uh, thank you for the, uh, Thank you for the super chat, though. I do really appreciate it, man. Special shout out there to Lyric um, Tax. Thank you, man. Oh, I'm screwed. He's got two eights. Thank you, Lyric. Am I done with Saints Row 2 or more to come? I have lore videos coming up, Gina, and I will be doing a video on the other activities. Um, also, thank you guys for the super chat. Thank you everyone for the super chat today. Thank you again, Lyric. I, I do appreciate it, man. Thanks, man. <coughs> I, I actually made a video about that yesterday, Untouchable. Look up my video yesterday. I actually did a video specifically on that topic. See if we can win something here. Nine and okay. Not terrible cards, but not amazing either. Take our luck with this a little bit here. Hey, bro, sorry I'm late. Since Rockstar don't care about Save Reddit Online, I won't care about any new GTA updates, including Expanded and Enhanced. It will be a buggy mess. Possibly will be. Um, I think Rockstar might be done at that point if GTA Online, if GTA Expanded and Enhanced is a disaster too. Two aces there, that's really rare. As you like criminal stuff, I suggest you check out, uh, watch the Blacklist series about a Concierge of the Crime starring James Spader. Okay, I will screenshot that, Gabriel. Thank you for the, um, thank you for the, um, uh, thank you for the telling me about that, and thank you for the super chat. I'm gonna fold here. I'm not getting any good cards. A lot of guys are gonna fold here. No, I'm surprised they're all going in. Okay, the pot's 20 bucks. Why did you go all in with that? Okay. She went in with three aces. Wow. Three aces and three aces. What's... Wow. Oh. 
I usually play Red Dead Online mostly on stream. Um, I don't play it as much off stream as I used to. Um, Somebody probably has a, um, yeah, somebody probably has a flush. this I think one of them has a flush getting great cards here. I want to win one hand. GTA 5 Definitive Edition coming out 2023. X Rockstar Dev League. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> just, just be careful because some clickbaiters might take your comment and make a video out of it. <laughs> The only thing that will be expanded and enhanced is Rockstar's bank account. Huh? Good one there. Man, nothing good here.
This is why even if you have a good card, you don't want to like bet more if you don't get a pair at least. Oh, he just lost all his money there. Okay, let's see if I can win something here. Come on. Okay, these are better. Someone could probably have a flush there. I might even get a flush. We'll see. Here we go. I'm gonna win now. Have you ever played Manhunt 1 and 2? Um, liked it? Um, uh, no, I haven't, but I've watched some videos of them. I would be open to playing them, but I'm scared about YouTube, um, you know, going crazy with it, too. There we go. Look at that. Got a great hand there. I want most of my money back there. What's my favorite quotes from the GTA radio stations? Thank you, Mario. Um, my favorite argument has to be probably the, um, uh, I mean, I don't know about a quote, but my favorite argument is um, uh, when uh, in Vice City, when on V-Rock, when uh, Cousin Ed calls in and complains that, like, Laszlo took his job. When, if you know the lore behind that in, like, Vice City stories, on, like, how Cousin Ed treated Laszlo like crap and told him that he wasn't going to be anything, and then Laszlo ends up taking his job later on. Oh no, this is too much of a bet here. A lot of people are going to fold right now, watch. Yep, called it. He feels confident with himself. There we go, that guy was on a losing streak, but now he got some chips back. I don't know what the next GTA update is. Okay, Brandon, I'll see you then. People are going to fold right now. Yep, here we come with the folding. He's going to fold too. 
Oh, I'm surprised. He just he was on a losing streak and now he's he's going all five dollars in. He better be confident with his cards then. No, those are not good cards. He better hopes he has some um some triples or something. Let's see if we can get one more good hand in here. Um, I really hope I can get a good card. Let's see. Please be something good. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about now. Yeah, and that's the thing, is B Bethesda should- uh, Bethesda, I think, deserves some respect, at least, for not abandoning Fallout 76. I know they, you know, they caused a disaster, which I'm not defending, but I do respect them for at least not abandoning the game, and still making content for it, and trying. I'm going all in right now, five dollars. If there's an ace or a king, I'm gonna win. Oh, I'm, I'm winning. Yep, there we go. Thank you, everybody. Guys. <laughs> there we go. And just like it is when you're when you're on a winning streak, you get up and leave. Because if you keep playing, you're gonna lose. There we go. I did it. Well, I haven't I been playing GTA? What do you mean? I just finished Vice City, and I'm doing a lore video for, um, I'm doing a lore video tomorrow on GTA. But I guess I'll be going here, guys. Um, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll still st stick around and answer a few questions people might have. But, um, if you guys enjoyed this stream, drop a like on it. If you guys could help me get up to, uh, uh to 600 likes, that would really make my day. Um... How is Red Dead better than GTA 5? Only boredom? I mean, I don't agree, Anthony. Thank you for the super chat, though. The, this game is fun, like, to play with friends, but it's very fun playing solo, I will admit to that. Um... Thank you, um, uh, Gabriel. And they are connected to GTA series. James Cash was an LV around the same time as CJ. And Gary Schaefer was mentioned in 3 on Lips 106. Yeah, I know Manhunt takes place in the same universe as GTA that I know. Carcer City was also mentioned by Michael, remember that, in GTA 5. It, Rockstar is trying its hard COVID times. Come on, Grits. You, you, really, man? Like, I, I know that there's a virus crisis. Most of us know that. But Rockstar has, at the same time, made massive updates on GTA Online and barely anything. If it's because of, you know, the, the virus crisis, then GTA Online wouldn't have gotten as many updates as it did. You can't tell me they can't divert some of that attention and give Reddit a fair update. Um... I'll do a playthrough of True Crime maybe one day. I'm gonna do Red Dead Redemption 1 one day. But, um, uh, I guess I'll be- I'll be heading out here. Yep, Rockstar released it during pandemic. I'm sure this year Red Dead Redemption 2 will get a big update, have hope. Okay, but I, I'm gonna remember what you said there, though. You said that Red Dead Redemption 2 will get a big update this, um, uh, this year. I hope- I hope you're right. Um... Thank you, I'm glad you enjoy Shit, sleeping dogs. No the sure ain't the first time. 
Well, I guess I'll be going here, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching, and everyone have a great weekend. I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend. And um, uh, I'll have the next part of Sleeping Dogs. So check the check the channel in five minutes. In less than five minutes, the next part of Sleeping Dogs will be up. I just have to make the thumbnail really quick, but the video is ready to be published. So just check in the next five minutes, and I'll have um, the next part of Sleeping Dogs. And I'm probably going to have a lore video either tomorrow or on Sunday. It's going to be a really good lore video. It's a good character analysis a video I've been working on for like two weeks now. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day.